Yes, it's a docking station. This is an 18-1 docking station, the CX-10 minus 8P. Now, you may be thinking, yeah, well, what's so different about this? Well, not a lot, but it does claim to do up to 10 gigabytes per second. And where did I see that? It says on the side, USB-C, SD and micro SD, 4K HDMI, yeah, 4K, and one gig E, one gig Ethernet. Oh, okay. So yeah, 10 gigabits per second up to, depending on how many you know, devices you're plugged in at the same time. Obviously it's all going down one cable, so you might not get that performance if you plug in too much. And also it depends what you're connecting it to as well. That will be your restrictions. So let's get her out. This is from a company called Ori Orico. Yeah, Orico, and that's it. Also, you can actually charge up your mobile device. It does up to 100 watts of charging. So, it's a quick look around. What's that? Is that a, oh, it's a little light. I can say, is that a speaker? It looks like a speaker, doesn't it? Anything else in there? Is there any instructions? There is. We have instructions. I will have a read of it, yeah, just to be on the safe side. But this is it. So, it's a USB Type-C connection. We have, that is your charger, or your PW, power delivery. And does it say 100 watts? I think it does, I can't quite read it. We have your 4K HDMI connection. We have Ethernet, one gigabit. Nice bit of vent in there, that's quite nice actually. It says 10 4K, uh, there you go, 10 gigabits per second. I knew I see it somewhere, I just couldn't remember where. Micro SD, SD, USB, and I'm guessing that's 3.0. You've got two of them and a S-type connection there. I'm not sure what that's trying to say there. Can't, can't quite read it, but that is it. So that is your power, your PW, for charging up, say for instance, your mobile phone or your tablet. You plug it in there if you want to charge it up, because that will give you power, and this will allow you to put devices into it using USB Type-C. We will be trying as many connections as possible. The only one I might not try is, I might not try the Ethernet one. But then I might. I probably will actually. <laughs> Saying that, we might not try the HDMI connection. But then I might again. We will see. So, with that, let's plug in some devices and see what we can get out of it, shall we? So, we have a cable running from my internet into the docking station. And from the docking station, we plugged in the USB Type C connection to run our internet. Now, let's see what sort of speeds we are going to get. Then that is the same speed that I get using just Ethernet in the normal traditional way. There is no difference, and that's very impressive, by the way. In this part of the video, we're going to test to see whether or not we can actually charge up my mobile device. It should work, but we will find out right now. So I have power going into this, and it goes into there, and then this will go into this, and it should just power it up. Let's give it a little test, or start charging it up, I should say. And there you go, 73% is on at the moment, so we know that works. Now, I'm sure there's gonna be someone out there that says, well, can you do it for USB? Let's find out, shall we? So USB is plugged into USB, and we have a USB Type-C connection because that's what my phone's got. USB Type-C connection. Plug it in, should charge it up. And can't see the charger. It's charging up, it didn't light up, did it? Try it again. Turn it off. Plug it in. There you go, that's what I want you to see, that little thing come up, so you can see it better. So yeah, so that works. So you can, in theory, charge it up through USB, providing you're sending power into there. Now this is designed for, you know, plugging in your laptop or any other device like that, or into your phone. Like I said, it will charge it up, but you should also be able to transfer data and information as well. So if I turn it off, oh, what happened now? See, ah, right, it's come up with a message there. So now it thinks it's an endoscope cancel that so with that 
on to the next test. Test number three, we're going to do transfer speed. See how fast we can transfer from A to B and from B to A. Now, there are factors to bear in mind here, and that is how fast your device can read and write from both ends. Yes, and there could be other factors as well. But we will test it. I'm going to plug this into my PC. I don't even know what's on these yet, but if there's nothing on them, I will transfer a couple of videos just to see how fast it actually transfers over. It seems to do everything it's supposed to do, including HDMI connection. Now, I did have a slight issue with that, and it had nothing to do with the actual device itself. It was purely down to my phone. And the reason I know it's my phone, because I've had this issue in the past with other docking stations, and also I found a way around it by turning the software off inside my phone, turn it off and turn it back on and unplugging the USB and plug it back in and eventually it recognised it as a HDMI connection and not as something else because that was what was happening. It was recognising it as something else and I thought, no, that's not right. And I wasn't getting the picture come up. But eventually we got there and she works. So everything they claim it does, it does. Definitely gets my thumbs up. It looks nice. It is... A multiple device system for enabling you to do internet, quite impressed with the internet actually, that works extremely well, or HDMI, and that again works extremely well, and for charging up your mobile device, again, it works extremely well, and transfer of data from A to B, from B to A, again, works extremely well. As you see, I had no issue with read write speeds, they just worked. So with that, Definitely gets my thumbs up. I'll probably keep that one, because I quite like that one, actually. So with that, if you like this video, give me a thumbs up. If you didn't, give me a thumbs down and consider subscribing. Thank you very much for watching.